Um, so yeah, I just sort of want to share about God's faithfulness. Um, I grew up in church, so I've always believed in God. Um, but I didn't really understand what it was like being a Christian. So in my mindset, it was always like, as long as I get, live a good life and I don't do anything bad, that's all that really matters. I knew all about the Bible. I knew what it all said. Um, but to me, it was just sort of like, I knew it. I knew what it said I should do and I shouldn't do, but I didn't like being told what to do. So I was like, ah, if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. I'll listen. Like, I know what the Bible says, but if I want to do what I want to do, I'm going to do it. So that was sort of my mindset. <laughs> um, I, never knew having a, I never knew being a Christian was about having a relationship with Jesus. Um, and I was completely baffled what that meant when I first heard that. I was like, how do you have a relationship with something that you can't see? Like, it really confused me. Um, so I started coming here in 2013. I got invited from a friend at college. Um, so I sort of just came to like youth evenings and events like that. And I always used to leave feeling really emotional. And I never understood why, but obviously looking at it now, it's the Holy Spirit. He was working in me back then and I didn't even know it. So yeah, 2013 is when I started first coming along. Um, I got more involved helping out at a kids club and started to build relationships with people here and started to feel accepted and valued, which I'd never really felt before in church. I'd gone to a couple of churches and never really felt involved or loved by anyone. So it was just sort of being accepted at a church was somewhat completely different for me, which was really lovely. Um, I always had a draw towards the world, so when I turned 18, I started doing what I wanted to do. So obviously the world tells you that when you're struggling, you go out, you drink, you do all that sort of stuff. So that's sort of what I started to do. Um, I was in a job that I struggled with a little bit. So when I had a bad day, I'd go and stop off at the shop on the way home, get a bottle of wine, have a few glasses. Um, then the bad days just started getting more and more. So it got to the point that I was drinking pretty much every night. Um, just trying to get rid of the feelings that I felt and not really knowing how to do it other than drinking. Um, so it got quite bad. It was just sort of like that was my coping mechanism, I guess. Um, and that's all I did. Um, I joined Hillfields in 2016. Um, and after a few months of coming here and learning more, I thought, like, do you know what? I actually quite like this. I started coming every week. Um, and I gave my heart to God in 2017. I don't really know the exact date, but it was in 2017. And then 2018, I got baptised. Um, 2018 was a really rough year for me. So I've always struggled with like anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. But it just got so much worse. Um, but obviously, when you step out for God, the enemy is going to have a go. So I think that's what was happening. Like, I knew I'd made that decision to follow God, but because I'd done that, it, everything just sort of bombarded me, and I didn't know how to cope with it. I was still very young in my faith, so I didn't really know how to handle it, I guess. So it just got to a point that I was like, if this is being a Christian, like, I don't want to do it. Um, and I was so ready to turn away from God, I started going to drinking again, and it just didn't fulfill it anymore. So I stopped drinking at that point. Um, and I started turning to God. So even though I didn't understand it and I thought, like, if God's there, like, how can I feel like this? I still kept coming. I still kept pushing through, hoping that one day God would take it from me. Um, there was one meeting in October um, and someone was sharing a testimony about healing. Um, and I really just felt God say to me at that point, like, today I'm going to take this from you. I'm going to take all this anxiety, this depression, and I'm going to heal you from it. And he did. So... I still get the odd days that I struggle, but don't we all? We're human. Um, it's not going to be an easy life, but I know that that was at the moment that God just completely took it. Um, so like Anne said, I am the youth worker here. I started doing youth work in September 2018, um, and we ran a little event called Root, or a meeting called Roots, which is just like we got the young people in, we talked to them about God, and we done some artwork with them, so it was our comfort zone. <laughs> Um, and our first meeting, we had four kids, and we were downstairs in the youth room, which is a tiny room. Um, but it was quite nice, it was comfortable. We had our four little kids coming with us, and it was really lovely. Um, so as that started to develop, I started feeling more challenged to give more time to the youth group. So in January 2019, I went into work, and I said, can I drop a day? I felt like I needed to give a day to God. So that's what I'd done. So I dropped a Thursday, so I'd started, I was at work four days a week, then I was here one day planning for the youth stuff and preparing for them so I could dedicate more time to the youth. Um, after doing that, I started seeing God do some really great things. Um, the youth group started to grow and we just saw God moving in amazing ways. So as that started happening, I felt more and more challenged to give up more time. So I actually quit my job in August last year and self-funded for four months just to see what it was going to be like. I really know, knew that I needed to be here doing something with the youth, but not really knowing what it looked like. 
Um, so it come the end of last year, I couldn't really see how it was going to carry on because we didn't really have any provision for me to be employed here. So it was just sort of like we were seeing, we were praying, we were asking God to provide. And he just provided in such an amazing way that I am now employed here. So I'm a full-time youth worker, which I got employed in January this year. Um, and just some of the things that God has done, like Anne said, we ran a youth camp this year. It was the biggest one in the UK, because it was the only one in the UK. Um, but it was really great. We saw kids um, meeting with God, like worshipping. We then saw one of our kids baptised, or two of our kids baptised. Um, because through that event, we met two kids, um, and we saw them baptised a couple of weeks ago. We've seen 10 of our youth baptised this year. We've seen just so much. God's been so faithful in it. But if you'd have told me back in 2013 when I started coming here, like that this was going to be the journey, I would not have believed you because, like I said, I was always so drawn to what the world had to offer and thought that that was how I had to live, whereas now it's completely not like that. I know that I need to live my life for God, and just seeing how he works and does amazing things, it's just incredible. So I just love being able to do it, and yeah, that's it. <laughs>